Hello guys, in this video I would like to show you how to bind an FR Sky X8R with the X6R in order to obtain 14 channel for your purpose, for your model or you can easily also obtain 16 channel binding two of these X8R receiver what you need now is X8R, X6R and a couple of jumper that comes with your receiver. Now, the first step is to go with your Taranis pressing menu and first page in the model setup. Crossing up, up to the mode that should be D16. The channel range for this purpose for the X8R and the X6R should be channel 1 to 14 because we simply need to add 8 to 6 to obtain 14 channel. The receiver number I have 8 because it's my 8 model, but you can have all the other number, it's not effective, it's not a problem. Now, what you first need is going to bind your first receiver, that in my case should be the X8R. So, these two for the moment are not needed. I just need the X8R without any jumper. What I simply need to do now is to press the bind button holding the FS while I give the power to the receiver in order to bind this receiver. All right, here now I have a battery, the receiver, this for holding the FS button. Now what I press is bind. All right, receiver is beeping, radio is beeping, sorry power to the receiver. As you can see the blinking red and green seems that the receiver is now connected. Press bind to exit the binding procedure. They got a battery. They got a battery. And now I have the telemetry on this receiver. So this is connected right now. As you can see I can take a servo and putting in the channel number two, all right? And using the Hilarion, now I have the Hilarion function and all the other for elevator, rudder, gear, and other things like that. Second step, now, I gotta go to bind this X6R receiver. All right, so second step, X8R receiver is already bind. Now, you don't need to change anything you leave it here with the same setup for the first receiver now we gotta go to bind the second receiver here we have two jumper in this case i would need to put the first jumper on the bottom down of this receiver in the channel one and two all right this first jumper came here channel one two on the bottom as this explain the sign. This second jumper need to go inside channel 3 and 4 on the same line on the first jumper. Now I have everything ready to bind the second receiver. What I simply need to do is to press the bind button holding FS button and insert the power inside the receiver. All right, it's blinking, red and green, and the second receiver is ready. Now I put it out, the two jumper that I don't need more, and I power on this receiver, and as you can see, if I put the same servo on the second channel, and I use Hilarion. Hilarion do not work. So we do not copy this memory to this receiver. We have 
other six channels available and in this case I put just for you for an example the rudder all right so if you see here in the second receiver I have the rudder hope it can help you guys because I have so many problems looking at some tutorial and I am sure that this tutorial will really help you with this purpose stay tuned for the second step in the future how to bind to x8r receiver thank you and enjoy my channel